Hello everybody, my name is Sam K, and welcome to Bad Game Sunday presents the Bad Game Daily Show. Now, uh, we are going to be playing Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green. Yeah. So let's make a new profile. I actually started up and got a little bit of the feel for it. Um, and as you guys might know, as you guys might be seeing right now and see no save game for this profile um as you guys may be seeing right now this is being recorded in 720 the reason behind this is not because uh yeah. i had issues with optimization or frame rate or anything like that no it's actually because this game does not go above 1280 by 1024 and i looked up widescreen fixes and all that did not find one um, so I am playing in 1280 by 960, which will be downscaled to 720, not 1280 by 720. Anyway, enough tech talk. Uh, and I am also using Loilo right now, um, instead of my normal recording software, simply because of the fact that my normal recording software basically said that this game was so bad that... <laughs> It didn't want to record it. Um, now this game actually falls within a specific category of the Bad Game Sunday stuff. Uh, I have several different categories which I will actually do in another video. Uh, but this one falls into the same category that um, Jaws Unleashed fa falls into which is a good thing it means that I will actually enjoy the game uh, just because it's kind of stupid <laughs> um, but yeah it's a uh, it's known for having really bad hit detection uh, being a uh, certain things being a rip straight rip off of Max Payne like you see the health meter over there, the little guy. Um, that's a obvious rip off of Max Payne. Plus, there's pain pills, med kits, all that kind of stuff that replenish that said health. Um, so, explain a few game mechanics um, real quick for you guys. Uh, this gun is the 22 rifle. It takes. Um, Four shots to kill any zombie, no matter where you hit them. So there's no uh, special hits with this gun. Uh, the fists are the weakest thing in the game, as you can see. Uh, I'm actually using the heavy attack right now, and I am not doing very much to this zombie. Oop! Oh, whoa, whoa. Um. So yeah. Uh, so I have to actually get to my basement right now, and yeah, Jack gets tired. The main character's name is Jack, by the way. Uh, Jack gets tired after about 10 seconds of running because he is apparently riddled with um, diabetes or something. Oh fuck! Get out of my way. Um, yeah. He is apparently ridden with diabetes. If you guys don't know what diabetes is, it's it's like it's basically the dumb way to say diabetes. It's whenever somebody's really fucking lazy and they don't actually have diabetes. Because that's actually a serious condi con condi condition. I can talk. Um, I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Um, it's whenever somebody's so fucking lazy that, like, after a couple minutes of physical workout, they just basically go, ugh, that did too much for me now. Um, so, yeah. And these videos will be split up into the segments that uh the missions are which is basically after i kill these off um yeah 
you can tell by that that there's a terrible hit detection. The revolver is actually able to decapitate and blow off limbs if you can actually get it to work properly. Um, I remember back in the day when I, I, I watched this on YouTube back in the day. Whenever Let's Plays were still a relatively new thing, they were in their young stages, I guess you could say. And nobody really knew the rules to Let's Plays yet. They were basically walkthroughs with semi talking. And oh, wow. And the guys who I watched said that uh, the the revolver really brings out the fact that there's a huge hit problem or a huge problem with the horrible horrible hit detection boxes on these zombies oh yeah by the way if you guys don't know what land of the dead is it is a movie created by the zombie uh, grandfather George A. Romero and this is supposed to be a spiritual sequel game to that movie I don't I, I, I've seen Land of the Dead and it has absolutely nothing to do with the movie um, but I mean they acquired the rights to it so I guess it's their game. Oh, shut the shut. Okay, so uh, to to give you an exam to give you a rundown of how the gameplay works, you have the m the melee weapons like the shovel here. You got the uh, pistol or the the revolver. You got the twenty two. You get a shotgun later in the game. Uh, you get a sniper, and I think you get a machine gun. And you might also get a rocket launcher. I can't really remember. It's been a while since I watched that Let's Play. Back in the good old days, whenever Let's Plays were actually called Let's Plays let's play insert game name here that's literally what they're called um, nowadays you think of a name and then you say insert game name here part such and such uh, is there more zo is there another zombie because this area is like you kill all the zombies and then you proceed forward oh yeah yep there's one right there There we go. Yeah, you won't see me using that twenty two as much um, as I will the revolver or the other weapons. Simply because it takes four hits to kill and that's sometimes not a good that's sometimes not very good for me like these guys if you got these guys are crawlers they're really annoying they're no more uh... what's it called they're they're not stronger less and they don't take more hits and these are prone zombies there we go um, they don't take more hits however they can move faster and hurt you a little bit more i think Yeah, got more 22 ammo. The 22 would basically be if I have like a zombie in my way, and I just like uh, I don't want to mess with you right now. Like for instance, oh, if I can. There we go.
shit. Yeah, the prone zombies will get up if you either. It, I think if you miss them initially or if you walk by them. And of course, every uh, first and third person shooter would not be complete without some exploding barrels. Jack reloads that gun like a boss. Um, this part sucks, the cornfield part, because you can easily get, you can easily lose your way. Oh shit, there's two of them. I should have used my revolver in that particular segment. I didn't know there were two of them though, so... Um, get my shovel out and there's a prone zombie right there. Get up behind him and... Gotcha. I said every level, didn't I? I meant every two levels because these levels are extremely short, so I don't want to like make a short video. Every two levels, my bad, guys. I apologize. Um. Oh fuck! Shit. Come on! Jesus! Okay, I got that one. Fuck. Fuck. It's not going good for me. Okay, got him. Ah, oh, thank God. I barely got through that one. Damn. Okay. So, to find your way around, you hug the wall naturally. This is a key point in any, uh, any game that you will ever play. Hug the wall and it'll never, you'll never go wrong. Or in this case, the fence. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna jump up here so I can start shooting down some zombies. Or... There we go. Pop up here on this pile of manure or dirt. I don't know which one. Because there's one more, z one or two more zombies that come out. Or maybe I'm just, maybe I'm thinking wrong. Anyway, I'll just keep plugging the wall. Okay. 
Okay, go this way. Oh, by here. Oh, 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 hi. Oh shit, I shot off her jaw. Yeah, you can shoot off the zombies' jaws in this game. However, it sucks because it means that you didn't actually headshot them. Shit. Hit detection in this game sucks. Alright. Do that. Go in here. Let's close that. Alright, so that is the end of the first episode of the Bad Game Sunday Daily Show. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. As usual, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Check out all the awesome games I've played, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!